Brendan. Yes. What's up, man? How you doing, man? Uh oh shit. Headphones, sorry. <laughs> How you doing, man? Uh, I'm doing good, man. Uh, it's been a while, huh? Yeah, that's what it feels like, yeah. yeah. Uh, but all is well with you, art and, and stuff? <sighs> um, yeah, yeah. Um, I think... Um, yeah, I mean, overall, uh, I've, I've, I'm at a, I'm, so I'm at a point where um, you've probably seen that I'm working on, like, fundamentals. Yeah. Um, so now I'm like... There's a couple things that I want to tackle. Like, um, I want to redo that Ninja Turtle symbiote print. Right. But now I'm like, but do I wait until I have my fundamentals down a little bit more or mm -hmm. just go at it? And usually my attitude would be just to go at it. But I want to get to the next level before I... I really want that to be a significant in improvement um, versus version two of that, you know? Right. So there's that, and then I have uh, issue three of Sculpture Stories that I haven't started on yet, and then I've been messing around with the Astro Pig idea. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know. I feel like I have a few big things on my plate, and I'm not. I don't think I'm juggling it very well, honestly. How for for the Astro Pig? Yeah. How long do you plan that for that to be? Because I would think if you did the Astro Pig in between to kind of hone down on your fundamentals and then tackle the that you know that one's it's supposed to be fun and just kind of like cleansing my palette yeah because it's not going to be a panel thing it's a sketch style uh kid story mm -hmm. so it's supposed to be full of imagination and um just kind of like a way for me to reset right um and sculptures is a way much more in depth in every level um but do you so, feel like the huh do you feel like the astro pig is is like a like a non-stressful fun project for yeah. you okay. yeah, so far i'm actually really enjoy it but i just don't have a story yet <laughs> um, um i have i'm kind of i have a structure that i like i have an intro that i like but i don't actually have my story yet a few ideas um i'm actually gonna i think really rely on my, my brother he's super creative kids um book like imagination you know um, right so I'm really gonna kind of like hope that he can help me out and he said he would so hopefully things will just fall into place and um you know he and i can work something out well that's cool that's really cool yeah yeah so that how about you where you been i've been good man uh i'm trying to think where we last left off when we last spoke um well so recently i have been because i sent you a big text one day because i was oh, like you know, I'm before, not... we, you, yes. the last time we spoke it didn't record so if anyone's watching this and i um, um like we had an a, i thought we had a great talk last time and it was mm -hmm. um what was it what the hell did we talk about <laughs> uh i think it was like a lot of website stuff mostly website stuff yeah of, yeah uh and structuring your website and what you should have in there pricing at this point yeah we yeah we talked about pricing i think yeah mm -hmm. um but i thought it was i thought it was really helpful um <laughs> but I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> no, it was really helpful. I think it was right before or right after, like a day or two after we, uh, you had done the, the Karen comics interview also. Yeah. So, so I think we talked about that a little bit too, but it was mostly the website. Um, and then, yeah, still sticking with the fundamentals, but then also <laughs> but mostly the website structure. And, uh, and I'm happy to say I had the website essentially up and running for now. And I have, so what I did is I had a pricing page that I put up, which was nice. Uh -huh. um, but it was interesting. I had a lot of kind of projects fall to me more recently, which is nice. Yeah. Um, but I've been having to change my pricing structure too, which I think is exactly how it's supposed to work. Where And, and, and I'm actually pretty happy about it too. Okay. Where I had no clue before. Well, hold on. As we're uh, talking, is it okay if I look at your website yeah. or do you have something else yeah. on your mind? No, no, no. Yeah, you can, you can pull it up. Do you um, have anything that you want to accomplish uh, in our chat today? I'd like to, I'd like to, okay, so, so I have a few projects that I'm tackling. I think what I'd like to try to balance is, um, is, is my paid projects versus 
like my fun projects and even the paid projects too nothing's really set in stone but um but just i i, I feel like i'm a little little uh little scattered right now with um yeah with what i'm trying to get done i i hear you yeah exactly yeah it's and this is the same thing this is really you've loose. Done some, you've done some work on it oh look at that yeah this yeah, is still man, very, you really you really updated stuff yeah thank you man it, it's still very loose but it's still much better than nothing you know uh well it's better than what you had <laughs> thank you thank you yeah, and for, what I'm, for real it's up to date you're showing mm -hmm. off i think your strongest pieces um so far yeah hey look at that journal Journal, is this yeah. the date? What is this? Zero three zero that's one. The, that's the date I do it. Uh, day, month, oh, year. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. And so with the with the website, December, January, January. Uh, it's not. That's pretty I, up to date. Yeah. I it got a is. Few of them there. I should be doing it more though. I mean, because I'm still, just because I can't do it. I have to do it on my laptop. And my laptop's been crashing recently, and it's just I I don't oh. go on my laptop every day. Um, and so with this too with the pricing so like logo design mm. uh so this one the strongman real estate i had done um and the guy but he basically my friend he was just like you know how much do you want and i'd said 50 and he gave me 100 i think i told you which is really oh, cool wow. yeah, yeah so that's really really cool of him um and so then right after that this lady had hit me up uh she's really nice a friend of a friend she needed something done but she needed it done in two days Oh, wow. um which i was able to do but she was like you know well, how much would you charge and i asked for 200 but she said you know 150 and i was like sure because that's still not bad mm -hmm. so i'd done that in two days sent it over uh wow, which is nice and the thing about it was like they like it you know and that makes me happy too knowing yeah. that they're not just it's not just like oh you know I, i'll settle for what i got they really enjoyed what they got and that makes yeah. me feel good yeah. and so now what's going on is uh there's this you remember do you remember that when i before the last last convention that i missed I, I did that that bear in the green jacket like that beer logo thing i was telling you about uh vaguely well, that, yeah. well, that's kind of what's happening there's back in october some gentleman asked for like a logo for his beer label mm -hmm. and I, I did some mock sketches and sent it his way didn't hear back from him and then him and his assistant have been reaching out to me continually asking me to, to finish up with these designs and they want four other ones which is oh, cool wow. Which is cool. So I sent them an email two days ago saying, because, and, and this is like back from October when they first asked for it compared to now. I feel like I've had a lot of growth in my pricing where it's, I, I have a much better feel for it. Because okay. before I didn't know what I was, you know, what to charge them. But I sent them an email. It, it just felt good. I sent them an email saying, you know, she said five logos that we're going to use for the labels and shirts, like, you know, pricing and time wise. And I said, it's probably going to take about a month. It, which is, uh, you know, I do a logo a week because that's usually a week to to do the initial sketch, to send it to them, to make the changes, to send it back. So a week per logo and then $200 for the logo each because it's like, yeah, I mean, this wow. is going to be, so it'd be $1,000 over a month. And I sent that out to them and I and I was going to, I'll call them tomorrow too just to follow up. But it's it's nice because before it's like, I wouldn't know what to do, you right, know? Dude. Good for you. But so, but so that that's, if they want it, that's cool. I remember you saying too, like, because a lot of a lot of what you had told me the whole time leading up to it too, where it's like, you know, I don't want to stress myself out. I don't want to undercharge, you know, uh, and so I didn't want to say like, two weeks and I'll do it. But I'm concerned after this project, like, I won't be building up enough of my own work, you know. Mm -hmm. So, so I think that's where I'm at right now. Because if I get this after that month, I'd like to kind of take a break from doing logos for other people. Cause my other friend, that one guy that wants me to do the website thing, we have, I mean, I have a scheduled meeting with him, I think Wednesday to like see what he wants and same thing, but I'm, I'm worried I'm getting away from, from like what I want to do, but I also don't want to just, you know, draw what I want without getting paid. It's that whole, it's a whole struggle yeah. of like, yeah. you, you know, uh, yeah. 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 So, so what are you, what are your feelings on that? Um, I, I think that's normal for uh, anyone who is trying to make a living off this. It's, it is a juggle. Um, there's a, a, a artist named Jeremy Treese on Instagram. You follow him at all? No, let me, you know, he's fantastic. Um, but he, he, he's doing a series 
Uh, he's busting out a lot of stuff recently. I'll find him on the uh, okay and show it here. Okay, <laughs> but he's uh, basically drawing what you're talking about, where he's working at this. I don't know. It's like a cookie factory or something like. But he makes cookies. Hmm. Um, and the whole thing's about how much he hates his job, and he's not getting these raises he's being promised, and his wife has some uh, some sort of medical issues. Mm. And uh, yeah, I'll bring it up right now. And he's like miserable, but oh wow! But he can't just do his own stuff, you know. So uh, it's very common, and he's doing a fan- just a beautiful job, I think, of yeah. illustrating that. I mean, each image is, I think is just fantastic. Um, and uh, but yeah, I think, I think I, this is what you're talking about. Hmm. Like, the, you know, this is, let's see if, can we go back earlier? Yeah, these are like his, um, his uh, co-workers. Oh, cool. Yeah, I like his ne- style a lot. Oh, it's awesome. And then the next image is, <laughs> like, even there, even that's wow. not keeping them sane. Um, so his is the extreme. He's mm-hmm. pretty got uh, miserable. Uh, here you go, your cookies. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> um, so, like, you're, I think you're expressing that common art, artist, not really complaint, but um, issue, <sighs> conflict. Yeah. So, you know, it's that juggle. And I think you have, we, we all of us have to ask ourselves what is it we need mm-hmm. to survive? Mm-hmm. What is it? We also want to accomplish. Um, I found a video with Gary V and uh, that Australian artist guy. He's like huge on his, on YouTube. Uh, he's got like two and a half million followers. You know what I'm talking about? No. Nah. Well, he okay. did an interview with he did an interview with Gary V. Mm-hmm. Oh fuck! Is it? I can't remember his name. And um, he rattled off all these questions. It's like a 20 minute interview, and so Gary answered them. Relating to artists, and mm-hmm. when it, and the guy answered, he asked this question, and Gary said, "You have to look at what you need. Mm-hmm. Like if you need to survive, you got to sell your work and price things accordingly, and take the jobs you need to do. And uh, you know, he he recommended if you want to do your own stuff, you got to do that too. But uh, you 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 have to figure out the juggling act of that. It sounds like right now, having a thousand bucks, that's nice, man." If over a month, like that would be really over nice. Over a month for artwork, that that sounds pretty damn nice to me. So, mm-hmm. yeah, and well, that's that's like, if they take it. Right, right. Um, if if you're at a point in your life where that's cool for now, and then you want to go back to doing your own thing, like I don't see anything wrong with that. Yeah, I'm just I'm just worried about picking up because because so I talked to my other friend Jeff too just about my own personal finances and how to manage them better over time, which yeah. was helpful. But I was talking to him because I was like, you know. Because still, art art's my main priority, but finances is my is my second priority. But the reason why finances is my second is because because I was telling him like you know my paychecks from where I work at now. The thing is like I have two jobs, so it's not even that I have to make money. It would be nice, yeah. but I was telling Jeff like because I'm starting to get these small chunks of cash from my art, and it's like I want to be able to manage that as it's starting to flow. You know, when the amounts are small, it's easier to take care of instead of like. Sure. But also, but also, I was telling him like a lot of the money I get from art, I'm just probably going to siphon back into my art. So signing yeah. up for conventions and uh, materials and stuff. Um, so that's 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 with uh, with a thousand dollars. If if yeah. it falls through, I mean it's over a month, so it's I'm still going to be spending a lot of time on this. But um, but after that, like I can take that money that I make, and then I just I still want to just sign up for conventions and stuff. So it's not even that I I need to I don't feel like I need to sell my work right now for money. Uh, yeah. Because I've got two jobs, you know, but uh-huh. I'm concerned that, you know, how a lot of artists, because like these two guys I know really talented artists, but they work for like a fashion app game design company. The same thing. They don't like what they draw at work, but they're still getting paid to draw, you know? Mm-hmm. So so I, I guess now I'm trying to figure out like what I want to draw versus what I can draw and live off of, I guess, you know? Mm-hmm. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That's the struggle, man. So you're you're, uh, you're feeling it right now. But it's cool. I mean, I'm 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 really happy. I just I think just the the idea that somebody would pay me to draw. Is oh, like, it's great. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, great, yeah. Man. Yeah. 
I guess now the shift is like getting somebody to pay me to draw what I want to draw. <laughs> oh, dude, if you can you know? land that, I mean, uh, so many people don't ever get there, you know? Right. Well, that's why I think where the convention scene is a little bit more open and a little bit more yeah. specific towards the market. Yeah. Because uh, you can draw what you want, show up, and hopefully people buy it. That's, that's out of your right. hands, but um, yeah. Well, and that's with, uh, with like I said, with the, with the slow, slow income I'm getting now. Is, and that's what I'm concerned too. It's like it's like with these jobs, it's cool with these with these uh, bundles of items I'm getting. But it's, that's the other thing I've heard about from a lot of freelance artists is like it's not it's not uh, recurring. It's not continual. Yeah, you it's know, like a feast or famine kind of thing. Right. So that's why I want to try to jump on these while I can. Uh, but I, th I think so. Like you're young, um, you have plenty of time. Mm -hmm. Like you can seriously dedicate six months or however long you want to doing logos, mm -hmm. seeking out people that need logos, advertising yourself like on LinkedIn, um, mm -hmm. going on to message boards or whatever, you know, uh, people looking for artists. You can dedicate a chunk of time to that. And like, seriously, um, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and feel it out, experience it. You, you could also do the opposite and say, I'm done with this for now. I'm going to do a chunk of time just for me. Feel mm -hmm. it out, experience it. Luckily, you have a couple jobs, and it sounds like that's not a, money's not a crunch for you. So, like that, mm -hmm. that's a that's a luxury, I think, for an artist. Right, right, right. And, and then also, and like also, uh, if you have the time and the drive and the energy, you you could do the logo thing and set aside an hour or two per day for your own thing if you can. Just sacrifice the sleep for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that that's what I'm worried about running myself too thin when it comes to time as a resource. Where it's like I'd uh -huh. like the jobs, but it is it's it's just taking away from me developing my style and my artwork. And it, and I remember you saying this too, like back when I did that first logo design, because in my mind it's like, well, I'm drawing, and, and you had said like, is this type? Because a lot of people say, oh, he's an artist. Can he you know design my website for me? It, the people uh -huh. bundle art, but you made a really good point where you said, well, this is is this what you want to do? Is this what you want to be drawing? You know. Uh -huh. Uh, mm -hmm. Because then you mentioned too, you know, if you're not having fun with it, if you're if you're miserable, like the cookie guy, he, he's still mm -hmm. doing art as a job, but it's it's not fulfilling for him. Well, what's sad is he hates his day job, and he hates. I don't know if he hates, but he's not fulfilled. I don't think he likes. I don't think he likes doing the art gigs he's getting. He wants to do his own stuff. Mm -hmm. but we're not entitled to that. We have to earn that. And he's phenomenal. I love his style and his mm -hmm. drive. Um, but that's. And I would think it's insanely hard to make your thing click enough to where people are, you're going to live off of it, you know? Right. And, that, and that's why even with the, the job that I have now, like it, I'm kind of like on a mental five year plan where I, I just plan to, I plan to trim down to part time. I just don't want to like doing art full time, I think is very, 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 I mean, ne not next to impossible, but it's difficult. Jordan Peterson talks about like the creative type and the, you know, the 1% are the ones that really strive, but yeah. You know, you can. It, it's doable. It's just I don't want to give up on it just because it hasn't happened yet. You know. Uh yeah no I, why, I don't know why you would. Just because it's 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 easy to like to see like oh man if if a guy like a uh, Jeremy Trace can't do it and he's that talented you know it's it's every artist has well, it's that. Not, but like I, I, I'm sure you know this. It's not that he can't or that you can't or I can't. We haven't yet. Uh... I I know I know my shortcomings. Um, and uh, you, you probably know your shortcomings by now. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think a lot of this is a combination of skill plus grind plus luck. Yeah. Or being able to take a, you know, seeing those opportunities and jumping on them. I think I've missed a couple, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I don't think it hasn't happened yet that one person hasn't seen you yet. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But you haven't okay. put all the work in yet. You're not, you're not, mm -hmm. there. you're not there yet. Mm -hmm. and I don't think I'm. I'm not at a point where I could uh, work for a company. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm not yeah. at a point where I work for Marvel. There's a lot of things I'm not good at at all, like buildings. I can't do that. Well, <laughs> they're tough. But that's really important. So mm -hmm. I might think I'm great, but I haven't put the work in enough yet to get to that level. Right. You know what I mean, and neither of you. Like you're, you're, you are. When I look at your stuff, you are practicing. You're not practicing. Well, you're practicing. But you are ex you're doing a lot of experimentation, mm -hmm. and that's kind of where you're at right now. So you you haven't put in the work and the development yet to be working full time. I don't think. Right. Yeah. But so that's but it's yet yet yet. That's not a that good it's idea. not. 
Mm -hmm. That's so a lot of this is out of our control, but how much time you put into it, how much you practice, how seriously you take it, that is under your control. Um, Beautifully said. So, well, thank you. Um, so that, that's what we can control. That's what we do focus on. But a lot of this is like, <laughs> the, is the right person going to see you? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. are, are you working hard enough to make them see you? And that's the stuff that I'm figuring out too, you know? Right. Well, so I think of Newligan's <clears throat> bookends too. Like that's a very good, I think, example of yeah. having the oh, right man. stuff when every, and that's, that's why I think I told the chair and guy too, but this is something I constantly tell myself, you know, it's better to, it's better to, to have an opportunity, not have an opportunity and be prepared than to have the opportunity and not be prepared, you know? Uh, yeah. So well, that, he, so Newligan, he, uh, he, he was prepared he, and the mm -hmm. right person happened to walk by him and he got mm -hmm. this really cool DC, uh, bookend, but a statue thing. It just, it was preparation mm -hmm. combined with skill combined with, um, he, he grinds, like he, he does the work. He has the setup. He, he knows his conventions. Mm -hmm. he, he was prepared, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Plus he put the work in, plus he has a skill, like he, he's, he's at a good pace. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not there yet. You're not there yet. Yeah. But I think, and that's, so that's what I want to like, uh, another thing I want to do with the the supplemental money income is, is just start signing up for conventions. I think I told you this too, but I want to start doing out of state conventions. Um, if I have the, the uh, financial leeway to just cause it'd be fun to, you know, go to Washington. Cause it's like, you know, it'd be fun to travel for oh, a weekend. Yeah. yeah. And then even, and that's the thing is like, I'm not like you said, I'm not, I'm not where it's like, I have to make X amount of money. Like that, that Tony kid we talked to who flies from Utah and does the big ones mm -hmm. with the bands. And that, I always compare him too because he he does well financially. But like you're saying, yeah. his 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 style is, you know, <laughs> he's not he's not, so, I mean, this, he's not the strongest artist, right? But he works hard. Mm -hmm. He's personable. People, I liked him. He's he's super easy to talk mm -hmm. to. He's like, great dude. he grinds. He knows what mm -hmm. people like. He's a fucking salesman and a half. Him and his dad. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. And he's got this niche, cool idea. So his execution, I, I would like to see a little bit cleaner, but it, it works. You know, that's just right. my preference. Mm -hmm. Apparently, a lot of people like the way he executes. So that's just subjectively, you know. Yeah, yeah. That mother, he, he fucking grinds, man. He, I, I want to interview him, but it hasn't worked out yet because uh, I have, I have not seen someone bring in what he's bringing in. Like he put me to shame. I was a. Uh, kind of upset honestly <laughs> <laughs> but that, but that's what i'm saying like i i think going to conventions is the best way to learn the ins and out like he he yeah. has oh, yeah. you know yeah. but uh but yeah well, I, I think well, i like i like that you have you so you do have a vision for yourself in the near future which is tra not just conventions but actually traveling conventions mm -hmm. so you want that life experience phenomenal um but you can also picture yourself doing the, you know, as Newligan does and as the, uh, Tony does, right? And as a lot of people do. Mm -hmm. um, so you have a vision that you can work towards. Right, exactly. And I think that's really helpful, too. And why, I think why I can, can't... But, I'm up? sorry, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was just saying, like, when I, when I do imagine that vision, that's a lot more of me doing kind of my own stuff than it is doing projects and logos and oh, label yeah. designs. Oh, yeah. So that, that, I think that's kind of where I'm having the quote unquote eternal conflict, but you know, it's, it's they, just a time. I, the way I see it, they go hand in hand. I think you already said that as you do the logos, that's you're going to invest that into your personal vision, mm -hmm. which is still work, mm -hmm. but it's uh, not logos. Yeah. Cause it's like, yeah, I'm, you were saying something earlier and I'd cut you off. No, that was it. That was, oh, oh. That's what I was going to say. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I think, I think, I think those go hand in hand, dude. Um, yeah. It just okay. it seems like it goes hand in hand. Okay. Cause even for my website and that's the thing for my website too, is uh, I'd had pricing for like logos and designs. And I think I started like $50 base with a, like a $10 rework and I have to bump that up. <laughs> fat. Oh, I, 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 saw, I saw your, your pricing structure. It, you called it like a rework bundle or something like that. Something like that. Cause you that's know, like, I like that's cute. It makes it seem less you know, threatening, you know? Yeah. Right. Instead it's of, good. cause it's like, you know, you send it and they send it back. Can you do yeah. this? Or, you know, what, what, how would this look? So it's for everyone, but I, I have to just bump it up. Cause that's not enough. Cause my friend okay. Joe, 
he's, he's doing a lot of logos and designs right now too. It's, it's really helpful to work with him. He goes to, he works at Phil's. So he'll, he just set up his pricing structure, which is, which is good to reference. And he does a $50 flat with a $30 hourly. Um, oh, he does it by hour. He, that's what he says. Big mm -hmm. dummy. No, but he's a, but, but uh, he's a good dude. And it actually works out because for these logos, I, 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 price right now i was thinking 200 dollars an hour is essentially you know five hours plus a 50 dollars flat if you're if you're using Wait, that price 200 dollars an hour an hour no no, no, no sorry 200 dollars. so if i charge them oh. 200 dollars for a logo joe would charge them 50 dollars flat plus 30 dollars an hour and that's yeah. assuming you worked five hours on a logo that'd be 200 dollars. so it's like it, it works out that way okay. uh but I, I just have to change my my logo design pricing. But like, and this is something you had said that it was extremely helpful too, because my friends and I were also doing the Muscle Core comic, which is a lot of fun. But yeah, so you do post that, yeah. Yeah, I, I we we are seven pages in, and so I want to wait until I have enough to stagger it, so we don't upload and then just miss a month, you know. Okay. But um, but what you had said too, where it's like. It's not just you know what I would do it for, but what would somebody have to pay me for me to neglect? what I need to work on to, uh -huh. you know, do something for yeah. them. Yeah. And that was really helpful right. too, instead of just like, I, instead of trying to lowball the price to get the money to do it. Yeah. It's that, that's, that's, that's. No, I, mean, I don't think there's nothing wrong with that either. Honestly, man, mm -hmm. that's uh, that was something Gary V said is if you got to drop your prices, like if you need money, do it. Right. But that's the thing is it, it's like, I think I want the experience and the development yeah. when I need the money, you know, I think that's where you're at right now. Yeah. Yeah, because the money's not, it's like I said, the fact that somebody would pay me is nice, but it's just a weird thing where it's like, you know, quote unquote starving artists, where it's like, I don't feel like I want to accept everything that comes my way. Because I think Gary Vee or other people talk about this too. It's like, not every opportunity is a good one, you know? Yeah. Mm hmm. Hey, did, just, we ever, did we ever talk about the three reasons to accept a job or accept a. No. Uh, this was from, this is Jake Parker thing, one of his videos. Mm -hmm. He said he says that um, for when you accept, a, and this pr for him, I think this might be different for us because, or, or for you, who might take on more. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I'm pretty narrow with what I take on, just I have because I have that leeway. Right. Um, Big Parker can give and take probably whatever the hell he wants at this point. <laughs> but he said um, there's three things you should consider. One is the money, how much you get paid. Mm -hmm. Two is the exposure. Okay. And three is if you're going to actually enjoy it or not. Interesting. Okay. So he yeah. says, says, whether you take something or not, at least two of those should be like a yes for you. So if something doesn't pay much, but it gives good exposure and it's going to be a lot of fun for you, like you're actually going to enjoy it, mm -hmm. like that's a good trade off. If something is not going to be fun, but it pays a lot and has good exposure. Yeah. Well, you know, so that's I believe his formula was was two out of three. That's that's really understandable too, especially for somebody as high caliber as he is. Well, yeah, but I, I think it applies. We consider money first and foremost, but in because something Gary v, v said in that interview was, um, and like you know he 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 you know his whole thing is eating shit and mm -hmm. uh, do the fifty one forty nine like he'll do the forty nine percent as long as someone else gets fifty one percent. You know what I mean? Like he'll, yeah. he'll um, get the shit out of the stick of a deal over and over again and kind of build that up mm -hmm. to build up like contacts, build up like people not owing him, but you know, good favor. Right. Um, over time it builds up. I think is the idea. Um, so we, I think is, I think artists think about the money a lot, but I don't think there's anything wrong with doing something because you enjoy it. Exposure. And get exposure, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so I have another. Like I said, I have a meeting with that guy Wednesday about designing his website, and maybe designing the unit user interface. Um, and and I'll I'll talk to him. I feel bad too because a lot of the other like business people talk and say before you even meet, you can just ask him, like you know what do you want out of this, and you can save a lot of time by just being more straightforward up front. And mm -hmm. the gentleman's name is Gabe, really nice guy. And Gabe was like, you know, this would be really good exposure for you to the tech world and for like the website world. And I thought about it and I was like, that's not, but that's not really like what I want to do. You know, the, the yeah. web design. No, yeah, that, that, so yeah, I mean that, so on the fun 
side of things, the enjoyment that's that would that would rank low for you. But on the exposure and money side, I, I, don't, I don't know would, would that be enough for you? I to, don't. That's the things I, I I'll talk to him Wednesday too, just because even now when, when people reach out, it's just us having a structure. Because even when I I think I told you this last time, but like when I'm getting paid to do something, oh, I have this other painting I'm doing for my barber. I think I told you it's like it's 160 dollars, but it's of the warriors. But that I'm it's see that's the thing. It's like this painting I'm doing. And my barber's really cool. He's just like, he's like, look, I'm in no rush. Like, I know you don't want to rush good art. So I don't care if it takes a couple of months, just like, you know. But for this one, I start same thing. I had a really difficult time pricing this one, but I was like, he want I'm do it digitally. This one, I'm do it digitally. Um, it's gonna be about I think like a hundred to print it digitally. And then I'm charging no, it's, it's I'm charging him twenty dollars for a figure, it's like per basketball player, and there's five. So that's a hundred dollars, and then it's like sixty dollars to print it out digitally. So uh, I charge him 160, and then I saw these other paintings he has in his barber shop. When I got my hair cut, I showed him like the thumbnail, and he same thing. He really enjoyed it, and that gives me a good feeling, you know. When you show somebody like I'm gonna do this, and they go, "Yeah, I love it." So I charge him 160, and he really likes the base drawing. I just have to finish it now, but it's like I probably lowballed him, but I, I'm really enjoying doing it, and it's good, like you know, local exposure yeah. for him too. So it's yeah, just, dude, yeah, like the when it comes uh, for me, friends and family are different. Yeah. Um, there actually, there's uh, one of the guys I interviewed, Sean Miller. Um, he, I, I hit him up. For, he's, mm -hmm. I think he's really good at um, logo design. And he's got this really mm -hmm. cool retro style to, to what he does. And I, yeah. I, I hit him up for Astro Pig and I asked him how much um, how he charges. And he's all three hundred dollars for this, five hundred dollars for this, and I'm like, yeah, I can't afford that at all. Wow. Well, you're a friend of mine, so I'll do it for a hundred bucks. He said, um, I'll do it. If you like it, give me a hundred. If you don't like it, you know, it's fine. It's like, you just, wow. I think friends and family are, are different. And you know, he, so did he. Yeah. That, that was pretty damn generous. Yeah. That's cool. But that's, that's, that's what I think another minor struggle I'm having where it's like, like I said, that my friend that I did that logo for, I was like 50 bucks. Cause I think I'd charge a hundred and he gave me a hundred too, which is really cool. But it's like, even with the logo design, cause I told my friend I'm charging, I'm, it would be a thousand dollars over a month for 200 each. And my friend was like, cause the guy that I'm doing it for, he owns a winery and a golf course and he's starting up a brewery. So the guy's got mm -hmm. money. And my friend Jordan was like, you probably lowballed yourself, but it's also like, I don't want to go in there trying to scout people, you know, like, no, especially, no, no, no. especially if I don't have any kind of credit to my name quite yet. I, I so. think that we, I think we treat every deal like it's going to be the last one. Mm -hmm. Like if I don't get, you know, the top dollar for this one, you know, life is over. Or whatever. Yeah. But if you do a good job, there's going to be another one. I don't, I wouldn't expect, like, you're not depending on the money. No. It's kind of your first outing, especially working with someone who, who has a um, little more money and mm -hmm. need mm -hmm. for or want for it, you know? Um, right. I, I don't, I don't know if it's worth the stress of trying to get as much as you can versus yeah. making a good contact, getting something that you're okay with and is fair. Mm hmm. Like you, like you're not you're not bringing to the table a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Right. So I, if you're getting two hundred dollars of design, like I, I think that's pretty solid personally. Right, but that's the thing is like, for like, for like just for just getting out there, like I, I wouldn't sneeze at mm -hmm. that at all. That's that's pretty good. Man. Thank you, thank you. Well, I I stopped to see because because that's what the other lady too. In two days, she had asked me to do that thing, and I asked for two hundred because I was like, you know, I had to I had to bump back a bunch of deadlines to get those done in two days. And she was like 150. I was like, yeah, that's, I mean, that's still fine. Um, it's 150. Did you get it done? Oh, yeah, I got it done. She liked it a lot. Uh, How long did it take? 12 hours, maybe 15. I think 12. 150 for 12 hours? Fuck it, dude. Why not? Oh, yeah. No, I'm still, I'm still. It's, cool 150, it's 150 bucks for less than a day's work. Exactly. And that's the thing too is, and, and, and I think, I think more importantly, like you're saying, I'm still, i like doing these because then I can say, this is what I've done. And this is what I got paid for, you know, 150 divided by 12 was $12 and 50 cents. 1250 an hour. I should have been off top of my head. Um, yeah, shit, right. dude, that, that's above minimum wage. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, ex exactly. So this is what I'm saying. It's, it's more of like, I feel good. Just somebody wanting me to draw it me getting paid sure. to draw it, and then, and then them enjoying it more. So instead of me being like, you Absolutely. know, cause I think you were saying that's, Oh no! Somebody else was saying, and he's a cop that does convention, and he does the same thing where he's like, "I'll draw something, and if they don't like it, they don't pay for it." Because like I'm not in it just to make uh, money, you know. Yeah. Uh, he, you know, it's it seems. I, I wouldn't do that. Part, so. 
<laughs> I wouldn't right. do that, but they, no, man, hey, I respect that. It's just different, you know. <laughs> but um, I went to but, a bar. I went to a barber once, and he had he had a sign out front that said, "If you don't like it, don't pay for it." I didn't like it, but I didn't say anything. It's yeah, yeah it's tough. <laughs> like, it wasn't my hair with my beard, but mm-hmm. I, I mean, like, I don't know. I know what I'm getting into. I told the guy, like, do what you want, just have fun with it, and I, I thought I looked retarded, but um, <laughs> I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna. I just that's. I took that chance, so I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but I. All right, uh, Tommy, you're doing you're doing good, man. Thank you, man. I just I do want to do more of my stuff. You're I, doing good. Thank you. It's still development. I did, and the, oh yeah, one last thing. Can I tell you one more thing? Sorry. Yeah. Uh, on my Instagram, I uploaded this picture of Spider Man. I think three or four days ago. Yeah. And I I did a picture. God, it's so stupid. I did a picture of Gary Vee that I haven't uploaded yet, yeah, but I fine. actually. Really, yeah. I do. I, I I inked it and like did a border, but the finished piece, I'm happy with it. But I, when I did uh, the Spider Man, what's up? Can you? Can you, well, I want to see it if you can. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm upset. I just, I'm just. It's stupid that I didn't upload it. Um, well, you but still like, can. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll do it right now and then I'll caption it later. Because like I said, I'm really happy with how it came out. But um, hey, what, what time did we start talking? Do you remember? Nine forty-five. Nine fifty. No, that's what time I texted you. But you you didn't uh, get 10, in your. 10, 950. Like 50. Closer to 10. All right. Okay. Um, but, uh, but yeah. when I did the Spider Man piece, I, I, I set myself an hour because it was like I was, I emailed these people and I was emailing that guy and I was finishing up design work and it was all like, it felt like busy business stuff. But, um, but I did the hour long Spider Man just because I felt like I wasn't drawing for myself. And it's just like, mm-hmm. like you said, set an hour aside every day just to do something, just to work on something, just develop something for you. Um, mm-hmm. So that's what I had done with the Spider-Man, with the Scary V. And it's just nice to like kind of do something for yourself. And so, and so I just, mm-hmm. I felt like I was getting away from, from growing and developing instead of just trying to be like, well, wait, where can I get my next contract at? Um, mm-hmm. But, uh, but I, that was a, I was kind of an important artist kind of not breakthrough a moment but like the guy that does mass effect he's the designer for everything and he's phenomenal i love mass effect i love everything about it the series and stuff the design but he was saying too he got burnt out as an artist because like the cookie guy doing other Mm -hmm. jobs for other people but not doing anything that you like and so i i I think what i'm just trying to do is keep one foot in enjoyment and one foot in growth and practicality you know Mm -hmm. so so that's what Uh, i think that's great it was just it was fun to because I hadn't I hadn't done anything for myself. It was it was just like what's the next project I got to tackle, you know? Yeah, dude, you're 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 finding the balance. There's gonna be there's so there's been points where I have stopped taking commissions altogether because I didn't need the money mm-hmm. and I wanted to do my own thing. But then there's also been times where money's been tight and I'm like, oh shit, I better take on some commissions. And I spent more time doing that and originals and trying to sell stuff. Interesting. There's been times where money's been really tight and I put everything in, on sale in my store and kind of hope for the best. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just, it's a balance. And, you know, you're, luckily you're at a point where you can choose to spend more time on your personal development mm-hmm. right now. So I make, I, that might be a sign to kind of make the most of it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I was worried about too, is the, is the opportunity thing. It's just, I think it's just balance. It's just, it's just, and the Drake Parker uh, structure is extremely helpful for finding what jobs to think- take. I think it's a good way to, yeah, just to have a uh, structure in your mind so it's not as overwhelming. Like if you mm-hmm. get an email with an offer, just to think, okay, well, what am I getting out of this? Here's three areas. Um, just to kind of ground, ground yourself, you know? Mm-hmm. But it's really nice too, just, just I, I think over the last... Can you hear me? Oh, what's up? Yeah. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Can you hear me? Okay. Uh yeah. Yes, I can. Okay, hear. sorry, you, you froze for a split second, um, but you're good now. But I feel I was just gonna say since, since we last spoke last month, it feels really okay. good for me just having a better grasp of, I guess you could say, what I'm worth. You know, um, yeah, man, yeah. Because there's, there's still some like I'm, there's another there's a portrait I'm doing for a friend. The five by sevens, the thing that you had pitched is like that's a great idea. But I asked my friend Sam, who who's a close friend of mine, extremely close three five by seven ideas so I can upload those on Instagram and then say like, this is what I'm doing. And I have a few other things that I finished that I haven't mailed out yet. Cause I haven't done the mailing thing yet, which I have just been putting off. But, mm-hmm. uh, 
but that's 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 the direction I want to start pushing in, as opposed to the logos is more like, you know, if somebody wants a portrait or a character or you know, whatever. But it, it's just those ones I haven't been charging for yet because I'm still kind of like uh, developing it. But it, it just feels good, you know, kind of knowing, figuring out what to charge, time yeah. time frames and stuff. Yeah, you're, you're doing good. Our, so our goals that we had talked about, I think, from last week. Mm -hmm. was um, to have a pricing structure for yourself. And it sounds mm -hmm. like you're getting there or are there. Yeah. And to start taking on commissions. And that might mean that you accept less at first. Mm -hmm. I haven't really seen you push that on Instagram. I saw you kind of announce it. Did anybody take you up on anything for free? Because the, the idea was to kind of do some yeah. free practice. Yeah. That's what I had. I have a Right. I had a few free lines of so I'm, I have a portrait right now I'm doing for a girl named D of her cousin. That ostrich was a commission, the five by sevens. Okay. And that's the thing too. It's it's difficult because I have like a list of 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 commission based works I want to start promoting, but it's more recently been conflicting with the with the quote unquote paid jobs I've been getting, you know? Yeah. So well, the pay stuff, pay stuff, I would think prioritize first before the free stuff. Right, but I'm worried that's pushing back all the other, you know, half written. Uh, yeah, it, well, it's up to you, man. It's just, that's just a judgment call for for you and what you need in your life. Mm -hmm. But I, I think if you if you have said yes to paid jobs, and you mm -hmm. have said yes to like free practice stuff, the paid jobs should come first. Yeah. Sorry, I I just yeah. Did I cut out? You just cut out when you'd asked if I could hear you. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, I think if you have said yes to pay jobs mm -hmm. and said yes to like free commission practice things. Right, yeah. You with me? The paid stuff should come first. Yeah, I agree. But that's why I'm trying to almost be more limited in what I say yes to because I feel like it's almost pushed me away from what I what I would enjoy doing, you know. Okay. But but it's a balance, yeah. Like you so said. The, it's a balance. It's about yeah. And you know, it's, it's, I think it's more based on what you need in the moment versus uh, anything anything else. It's kind of my opinion. Mm -hmm. So right right now, you had an opportunity come to you, and I think it's good you jumped on it. Thank Next you. month, that you might not need that, so you might spend more time on personal stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so the other goal you had was to develop your website when you've done that, right? Yeah, the journal, I, it, so here's what here's my mental attack for the journal, because the one that I write in is is just easier because it's always on me. The computer one, I can't do it on the, the tablet, unfortunately, or uh, my phone, so I have to do it on my computer. But I mean, my mind is like, if I have to do it every day, it becomes daunting and then I avoid it altogether. So I think I might just be, start doing weekly updates and then do bi-weekly updates. Just so that way okay. it's consistent. Why can't you do it on your phone? I, it's just it has the way the app works. There's not like a Squarespace uh, app. It's you have to go through the website, and then it's a lot more limited on the mobile. I can't edit. About um, yeah, I think I think Wix has. I believe I can just yeah, I can update the blog from my phone, and it's pretty yeah. easy. I'll revisit it too because I, I, I maybe I just I must have I may have overlooked it, but I've just been doing it when I'm on my computer. Okay. All right, so the journal's helpful. Well, you have time to write it out physically. Why not take a picture of it and then upload it to your blog? I can do that. That's got, <laughs> a, nice, got a nice personal feel to it, and you're still updating. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, th I, I think it's pretty neat, personally. Thank you. It, it does. It's just, yeah, it's just because it's cursive, and kids can't read cursive nowadays. It's so what, oh, my God, dude. Excuses. So what? <laughs> That's the option. Okay. How to get creative? Like your these little things should not be obstacles to you meeting a goal. You just got to get creative about it. Take a picture of it. There you go. It's a great idea. I do like it. Did you, all right. Did you hear everything I said? Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. So you you've been meeting your goals, man. That's fantastic. Thank you. And then once again, I, I can't stress enough that having them written out is extremely helpful and it helps me prioritize too because I can always revisit if I'm feeling lost or in the ether. Uh, so thank you for that. Yeah. Let me see that. I want to see that finished Gary Vee uh, thing you did. It's on my Instagram. It's what? I, it's on my Instagram. 
Oh. I just uploaded it right now. Well, all right. I'll do a caption in a second. Uh, I'll caption it yeah, after yeah, this. Dude. That's good, man. You did a good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's just, I, and then I know, remember you saying too, like the watercolor thing. And that one's the Gary V is five by seven, which is nice because it's smaller, it's quicker. <laughs> uh, let me hold it up. Don't don't say anything. I'm just gonna hold it up. Yeah, that's uh, that's good execution. You you had I think you had texted me the uh, pre-inked version, right? Yes. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit, I don't think it needs to be inked. Like it looked pretty good. Yeah. Uh, and I was Thank worried. You. I was worried about your inking, but I think you pulled it off. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I think you did, man. It's just, and that's five by seven. It's just, you know, practice, practice, practice. No, that's that's a really nice little piece there. Thank you. But even like, Thinking, it looks like. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was, dude. Um, <laughs> I see some improvement there. I, I like how on the outside, um, and it looks like you put some thinner stuff on the inside. Well, that's the thing about when I watercolor, I don't have to do the hatching. For the values, that's I think it's a good thing for you. <laughs> like <laughs> hatching's fun though, man. Oh, it's the best. Nah, you you now you go overboard with it. So I that that I think that's actually a good thing for you. Okay, and that's what like I said, watercolors, even Copics too. The grayscale Copics is just that's nice. Cool. Thank you, Tad. That's depth. cool, man. Good job. I appreciate it. Thank you. So that was the Gary V. Yeah, I know. It's it, it's recognizable too. That Spider Man one is just that's just fun, man. I like that. Thank you. Same thing. It was an hour. It uh, was just. Cause I'm getting away from. Uh, uh, don't say how long. Show people what it, or if anyone. That's fun, man. That's cool. I, I think you executed that pretty darn well. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I've seen some real growth. I appreciate it, but it's it's still fitting those in between the <clears throat> between the um, and and I feel bad too because I feel like I've been because when I was doing those fundamentals every day for those two week that two week period that was really helpful and I, I still revisit them but i don't do them as much as i should that should be like an every day and i've been noticing you've been doing that too i think you reached out to carlos and he recommended you doing that yeah yeah man yep. and that I, was the I'm first thing. It, it makes a big difference i from what i remember is he had recommended it and he'd uploaded some like the, the basic shapes and shading and stuff and then you start uploading sketch pieces where the same thing you kind of went back to basics and did the sketches and the, the the shadowing and the structure it felt more solid and it felt more believable like just the the yeah the cast shadow and like the reflective yeah. shadow just even on your figures that looks really good oh uh, for me or mine for, for it you. more unbelievable or his yours i feel more competent i things are like okay now i understand a little bit more of like why that shadow is there why it's darker at a certain point why it lightens up mm -hmm. um it's so I'm feeling I'm I'm not faking it as much. Um, and mm -hmm. I, I, like I had to be honest with myself. Like oh, I've been faking this shit the whole time. Um, <laughs> on some it, on some level, I mean, on a pretty thick level too. And then also looks, I started looking at anatomy, and I'm like, oh, I've been really faking this. But it looks really good though. Like, oh, well, thank you. Like you, you've been, you know, I, I've been building my understanding of style and structure and anatomy and values based on what other people have done mm -hmm. rather than an actual understanding of how things exist in real life and then building from there. Mm -hmm. But so it's yeah, nice that's, that's, that's where I'm at. It's, it's nice that you already have the style down though. So then it's just, just like you were mentioning too, re-practicing the fundamentals, but then reapplying them to what you've been doing. Yeah. Uh, I think is a good spot for you, and that's why with the with the uh, with yeah. the Astro Pig, I think that'd be a cool kind of project to hammer out the, the fusion of the two, your new style, and then attack the Venom piece. Uh, no, the Venom piece will be, you know, okay. my, my my energetic style combined with new fundamentals. Right. And that's where that's where I really want to drive that home and show like, no, I'm, I can really do this. Okay. The Astro Pig is it's for fun. You'll see the fundamentals. I'm not going to push too much there. It's just it's just fun um, and I want it to be sketchy and loose and mm -hmm. then Skullder stories will be a, more of a comic book style with some fundamentals thrown in, but ultimately I want it to be like a visual kind of splash. Okay. So I, there's different things that I want for each project. Right. I think, I think any print work you see me do will be more of a balance of fundamentals combined with the way I want things to look nice, nice. With, with, with like proportions and energy <clears throat> and whatnot. Okay. Anyhow, um, 
what's up next for you? Your convention is not for a little while. No. But I have a oh, feeling. I wanna, well, I was going to say what I, I have wanted. I a bad feeling you haven't put any work into it. What? What? That's why I don't want to take more paid projects is because I, 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 my friends and I were doing the muscle court and we're, we're a couple pages in, which is nice. We have, we have, we do weekly meetings and that's a, that's a small chunk of my time, but that's a consistent one. Um, I, I want to get back to making prints, uh, building an even stronger website, uh, business cards, you know, all that stuff. I like, in the, so can I, can I tell you what I'd like, like to, can I, can I throw out some stuff and you can help me? Uh, yeah, I want to because I have <laughs> I have commission pieces that I finished that I still have that I haven't mailed out yet. So I want to mail out the handful of pieces I have that haven't been mailed out yet. Okay, which seems which seems which seems very simple. I understand, but I just I would keep putting it off for some reason. Yeah, just mail them out. Yeah, I know. But see, it's it's just like all right. You know, I want to. I kind of want to frame them first, but then it's like, no, they just mail. Was was it the free things? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Just mail them out, dude. I don't know what it is, but but if I know it's one of my goals, because I'm like, oh, this is gonna take away from my time. I don't know how long it's gonna take. Mailing something out? Hey, hey, I've I've honestly grown up in the era I grew up. We don't. I've never mailed really anything ever. What the fuck? You put it in an envelope, <laughs> go to the post office, they will tell you how much it is, you give them the money, it's mailed out. But I need an address. I think I think I got traumatized because yeah. one time I mailed a card to my friend and I put the address where the return address was supposed to be and she never got it and I was really upset. Oh my God. I know, tell me about it. So, <laughs> so I think that traumatized me from... You know, every, every now and then, I think you'll understand what I'm going to say, right? Every now and then, you sound like a fucking millennial, and it drives me nuts. I no, but see, you are technically a millennial, but you know what I'm talking about, right? No, for sure, and that's embarrassing on my end too, because it's like I'm I didn't know how to mail something. Dude. Mail it. <laughs> okay, I will mail them. Uh, What's the next thing? Mail that. I want to sign up for more conventions, especially out of state ones, because I was telling my friend Justin, like, I think if. I sign up for them now instead of me making ex- instead of me saying, "Well, next year would be cool," or making excuses to say, "Like, oh, I don't yeah. have the money right now." Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. if I do, if I if I sign up right now, it's like I'll find the way to make the money. You know. Yeah. For traveling yep, yep, expenses, yep, yep. so uh, out of state conventions is a big one. Okay. Yeah. That's um, cool. I, I like that. I like that a lot. If you have the money to pay for it, man, yeah, that's that's really cool. Because it couldn't be that expensive. To pay for the to pay for you have to at least pay for the registration. Usually up front, they give you some time sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you can pay for the registration and you're confident you can get the rest together, yeah, fuck yeah, man, go for it. And that's and I, having those those like six month deadlines really really helped me. Like I said, instead of being like one day, it's like okay, I got this much time to prepare uh, for it. Yeah. Yeah, it would it really solidify cool. that for me. Um, but then for this upcoming convention too, I just I want I still want a stronger breadth of portfolio work i guess it's like finished pieces full finished pieces okay in addition to the commissions um okay wait hold on i'm gonna put this in your document the uh, these goals okay, you thank have you yourself, right um number one use the fucking mail <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot scarier than you think, man. It's different than I'm. I'm comfortable scanning and sending no. something to JPEG. That's fine, you know. But like, what if it gets lost in the tracking fee? You know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whatever it is. Uh, next one is sign up for more conventions, right? More conventions and out of state ones. I think that'd be the biggest goal for me. Okay. All right. What else? Uh, and then develop a more solid breadth of portfolio work. Like, what do you mean portfolio work? Like for conventions. Uh, but I know. But what do you mean by portfolio? Like, 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 like finished pieces. Okay. Instead of hour long yeah. warm ups, or you know, Dells or do you want prints? Do you? Want, what do you mean? I think, like finished images that I can sh- either shrink down to prints. Or, um, well, how, how, how do you approach okay. it? Do you have like, uh, I was doing, um, I would sell originals 
and I had well, I had lots and lots of prints. I mean, you were you were there, man. You know, um, but then right. I had stickers and buttons as well. But how do you how do you approach the images that you make? Because that like the Deadpool Yoshi one does really well. But like, was that an idea that came to you? Yeah, it was just you, it really comes down to what I thought was a good idea, something what something I would like to own. It comes down to entertaining yourself first. I thought it was funny, and uh, I thought I could execute it, and uh, that that was really it. And there were some that. The only ones that did really poorly were the ones that I thought I did because I thought people would buy it mm. versus I, I enjoyed it and I thought it, it could entertain me. The ones I did because I thought people would buy it did the worst. So like that Spider-Man, that Spider-Man one that you posted, that I think it's one of your strongest pieces so far. Oh, thank and you. It, and like you said, it was you just want to have fun. Mm-hmm. And I think it was, I like the colors. It's bright. I like the watercolors. The inking's pretty good. Um, so I like I, I think that's an original you could sell um, that people might find worth buying, especially if you frame it first, like like Tony had taught us. Mm-hmm. Um, with like you know buying those frames frames from like IKEA, remember? Right, right, right. Um, so I, I think I think that you, and that doesn't take very long. It took you like an hour. Yeah. Right. So that's also something you could that you could scan and print out at five by seven. I think it's totally mm-hmm. worth buying. Okay, thank you. Um, for that. Especially, especially if you have it on like some kind of interesting paper, although yeah. if it's in a frame, it won't make it won't make a huge deal. But um, uh, that that's how it, that's I think that's what I'd recommend to you is don't try and like think about what would what sell. will sell. Yeah, you want to think. I would recommend you think about like what do you what are you into because people feel you when mm-hmm. they go to your table, they will feel you. And like I think you saw that with people that came to my table mm-hmm. is what clicked with them was. They feel they felt the humor and the creepiness and some of my stuff. They felt mm-hmm. my, me and my my creepiness, I guess. No, no, but, <laughs> but you're <laughs> but you're absolutely right. Where it's like it's yeah, not doing it for the money, but uh, but that's very very helpful. Thank you. I think that's another big piece I'm kind of working on right now too. And it started off, and, and I and I'm I'm really happy with how it's coming out. Uh, and I think that'll do well. And if it doesn't, you know, that's fine too. But um, <clears throat> yeah, but I, I have. Yeah. With a, I got a new phone not too long ago, and I can make notes on it, and it's helpful because I'll make a bunch of notes about potential art ideas because I always have these ideas. And I'm yeah. like, oh, fuck. Good. But okay, I, I feel a little better now knowing that it's it's Good. better to do things that I enjoy. You know, a buddy of mine, he's a like a top video game producer, mm. and he he has a team of artists that he works with mm-hmm. um, for some, like a really big game. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to say, it, but yeah. Um, Sorry. No, <laughs> um, he um, he saw my Astro Pig idea and he loved it, right? Mm-hmm. And and he, we were texting each other and he's like, "Who would have thought that something you threw together just just for fun would be one of your strongest ideas?" Mm-hmm. Like he, he he did that just to dick around and sketch, you know. But people had a strong response to Astro Pig when mm-hmm. I posted it, you know. He's like, "I could tell you didn't push yourself and try super hard. You just had fun with it." Mm-hmm. He could feel he could feel that, that, that that there was a strong response to it, and he could feel his enjoyment with it versus something he felt like I was like pushing. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. People was people respond to the emotion of things. I was having fun with Astro Pig, and it seems like having fun with even like the redesigns too. Like it's not like a it doesn't feel like a like a deadline. Like it has to look this way. It's like you know, what what do you think looks best? This looks cool. I think that looks, uh, it, it it does seem very fun. Right, yeah. Yeah, the I've been, process. Uh, pro- I've been uh, showing a lot of my process and getting feedback from people and trying to involve people. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's cool. That was the other thing we're supposed to do was involve people. I don't think <clears> we're doing a very good job of that. I'm sorry about that, and I will step my game up. I do apologize. Uh, don't apologize to me. Don't apologize to me, Brennan. Oh, well, I was talking about well for your Instagram account too. I should be doing that daily, and I'm sorry I've been missing. Oh no, you, dude, you, you've been doing fine. Actually, I, I want you to stop because I feel kind of bad <laughs> because it's because I want you to stop commenting on people you've been doing a phenomenal job i've been super happy with it but then i'm also like you know what it's it feels disingenuous because it is disingenuous right so i, I want to stop 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 doing that okay um don't worry about it don't worry about it and i'll, I'll give you something else to do okay yeah please because yeah because i well, i was going to mention that too I, I know we're running thin on time um yeah but i was going to mention is that is that okay to talk on in this stream talk about talk about what How's how's the 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 help the assistance under your guys? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, yeah. So sure. um, when, when I was when I was reaching out to people, 
it, it was actually a huge help for me too because I, I didn't do it as much for my my Instagram, but just that that Gary V mindset of like the eighteen cent or just putting yeah. back in the community in the art yeah. community instead of like like buy my prints, buy my prints. Yeah. So I, I I'm what I, what I've done with you, I implemented for my own Instagram account. It's really helpful just to like talk to people and reach out to them and say, hey, good job, keep it up, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was that it was is. Big. I've been. I saw a, a, a there was a, a recommendation from fuck. I think his name is Bobby Chu. That for he does Chu Stream. Mm -hmm. He does a lot of podcasts and interviews with artists and whatnot. He he recommended if you're gonna if you want to hit up your favorite artists and leave comments, don't just say good job. He says like leave a question, something short that they can answer, mm -hmm. uh, like quickly, because they get a lot of comments and questions and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So um, I I've started doing that, and I've noticed that my and like the answer rate from people that I admire is a lot is already higher. Cool. I think, you know what I mean? So right. rather than just say being a generic, good job. Um, asked like, um, there was a uh, Scott, I think his name is Scott Williams. He's an inker. He inks oh, yeah. family stuff. Yeah. Huge. Uh, I, I asked him, um, I said, Hey, did you, I saw on the, the cross hatching on that weapon. Is that something you decided? Or is that Jim Lee's over Jim Lee's pencils that were already, you know, mm -hmm. that he, had put there in pencil, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And he responded with the answer is like, Oh, I learned something and got to interact with someone I admire and asked. And I, think I, I think I gave him a follow up comment, but you know, that's cool. And you, I, what my hope, obviously, the hope is he'll be like, Oh, who's this Justin Prime guy and take a look at my stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if that'll ever happen, but the right person might do it. But right. I, it's more like, you know, I learned something, and I got to ha interact with someone I admire and get some thoughts. Like, that's just fun, you know, you know I, I know you appreciate that too. That's really good so piece it, of advice. So as you, I'm glad you got the experience from my account, but I, I want you to do that for your own account. And that's, I think that's another really good tip is um, to ask thoughtful questions that are mm -hmm. a short answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One other, are you because you right. mentioned like with the asking questions, it's usually I feel bad because it's it's kind of funny, but it's also you see it all the time. People are like, well, what what nib do you use or what what kind of tools? And I like how for your website you have the my tools page because everyone's always like, well, what do yeah. you use? Jake Parker, I think you've seen it. Jake Parker has a page where it's just like Jake Parker tools, where you just like <laughs> that's that's I, that's where I stole it from. I saw his thing. Oh, I'm really? like, that's perfect. So I, I yeah. did it. And so because that's like you're saying with the questions. What's Go up? Ahead. With, with with the questions, people with the this. with the Wix. No, I'm a, hold on. With the with the Wix website, there's an mm -hmm. app. You can the app is phenomenal, and it tells me who's on my website, like mm -hmm. from where they're from and what page they're on. So I can see someone's from Arizona, what you know, Tucson, Arizona, or Phoenix, Arizona, or whatever, and they're looking at the the B Dog and J Prime page, or right. they're looking at my store and they're looking at this specific uh, item, or they're I, I see people go to my tools, so I'm like, oh fuck, it works. <laughs> like I'm answering their questions without them having to answer it, well, ask yeah. it, you know? Yeah, it's preemptive, which is smart. So I think I think yeah. just yeah, connection on the Instagram and reaching out and 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 being social and not just uploading for the views but also interacting with people yeah. who are out there you know yeah yeah that that's I'm really on that right now and trying to get that down. So I'm sorry. One last quick story. Uh, I'd uploaded a a page I'd inked and yeah. a guy had some. I, I we we're not. He just he saw it, which is really cool, and he commented. He's like, "Oh man, that's really cool. Like, I wish my lines could be that straight." And it, it, it took me a day or two, but I, when I replied to it, I sent this huge thing about like, you know, I used a Sharpie because I used like a six inch ruler that was too short and I had to pick it up and start again. So if you look closely, there's some discrepancies, uh -huh. but I used a Sharpie and a ruler. Like it wasn't some, you know, uh, deleter. Yeah, yeah. So I commented, I was like, it's a Sharpie I took from my mom's classroom and a, and a ruler I took from yeah. my mom's classroom. But I, I told yeah. him, I just spent a long time giving him advice like, I would start by hand. Don't go digital just because you learn a lot more. And he, and he commented back and he's just like, Hey, thank you very much. Like I appreciate it. And it just, you know, it, it feels good helping out other people, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. And you're built, you're building your audience mm -hmm. and your followers, but making relationships with them. It, it, that's, that's, I think it's a big part of what we do. And that's what I'm on right now. And yeah. I, so that's why I'm asking you to stop doing, you've been doing a great job, but it, <laughs> thank I gotta you. It. I got I gotta <laughs> put the work in. Is it feel wrong? It's, it kind of started to, I'm like, you know what, fuck, man, he, he's doing really hard work. And I thought I was going to be doing it at the same time and I haven't been pulling my weight. So like, well, I, I don't mind it, doing it's time it for me to step up. I just was real quick. I thought it was really I, funny when you were like, when you were like, great job, good feel to it. Keep it going. I thought you were making fun of me because that's, <laughs> that's how I responded to people. And I was like, is he mocking the way I've been reaching out to people? <laughs> that was my actual comment. 
All right, dude, uh, <laughs> okay. well, I guess we're talking. We're talking in a month again, right? Yeah, same time. Then thank and, you. Know. Was, thank you again for the help. Thank you for the goals. Uh, did you want to say anything else, or can I say some like a final? Go ahead, real quick. I was just gonna say it's it, it. I feel like no offense, and this is I think the whole reason for us doing this. But I f this is super fucked up. But I feel like I'm becoming less and less dependent on these talks. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's great. I was gonna say, but then, then I think that's the whole point is like, because I remember when you said, "How long do you want to do yeah. this?" It's like, and and stretching it out. Fantastic. When I had to do all the pricing, it's like instead of me hounding you, like, "What should I charge? What should I charge?" It's like, "Here's what I'm gonna charge." You know, it's. It's a good feeling. I feel I felt a lot of growth in the, in the handful of talks we've had. Uh, so thank you for that. Okay, yeah, dude. Hey, so in, in a month, uh, mm -hmm. I'll ask you. Hey, do you want to talk or not? And if you feel like you know, I'm, I'm good for now. Then just, we'll, we'll push it back, right? Okay. Hey, right. that's cool. Okay. <laughs> and if hey, if you ever want to reach out to me with ideas or anything, you know, I'm around. I will. Okay. All right. That's cool. Uh, Actually, right. I, well, I, I texted you recently. I wanted to get your specific feedback on my Astro Pig coloring. <laughs> And I got back to you. I did. I, I I texted a few people. I'm like, I want to see what they think. So I I thought of you, man. Thank you, and I appreciate that. Thank you. And also, right. now that I understand the style you're going for, I'd actually either do the second or third if it's more of a sketchy one. The colors might too boost strong. Yeah. yeah. Now that I understand. Yeah, I already. Peace okay. out. All right. Take it easy, man. Bye.